Hi guys, this is Miss Igo, and today we're going to talk about factoring difficult trinomials. A difficult trinomial is a trinomial that has a leading coefficient other than 1. So if the coefficient of your x squared term is something other than 1, then it's considered a difficult trinomial. And I made some other videos factoring difficult trinomials, but today we're going to talk about the slide and divide method, which I think is the easiest method to use for factoring difficult trinomials. So let's get started. This trinomial here, 3x squared minus 4x min uh, minus 7 is a difficult trinomial. And so what we do is we take the leading coefficient, in this case, which is a 3, and we slide it to the back and multiply it times the constant. So that gives us x squared minus 4x minus 21. And now we have an easy trinomial. So we'll factor it just like we would an easy trinomial. And remember that if we have a trinomial, it factors into two binomials. And it's basically going backwards from foiling. The first two terms have to multiply to give us the first term in our trinomial. Well, the only thing that would multiply to give us x squared would be x and x. Then we look at the second sign in our trinomial. If that is a positive, then that tells us the signs in our two binomials are going to be the same. But if it's negative, it tells us that the signs are different. So I'm going to put one positive and one negative sign. Then we look at our 21, and we need to find the factors of 21 that will, again, we look at the second sign, subtract to give us 4. The factors of 21 are 1 and 21 and 3 and 7. Well, 3 and 7 are going to be the two factors that subtract to give me 4. Now I look at the first sign, and that sign tells me the sign of the bigger number. So 7 is bigger than 3, so my 7 is going to be the negative number, and 3 is the positive number. All right, we're not done yet because since we slid that leading coefficient to the back, now we have to divide um, to get back uh, to our actual solution. So we're going to divide by whatever we multiplied by in the beginning. We divide both of our constants by that leading coefficient. So we're going to divide both of these by 3. When I divide 3 by 3, that simplifies or reduces to 1. But if our number doesn't reduce to a whole number, if it doesn't simplify to a whole number, then we just take our denominator and we put it we slide it back in front of our x. So this gives me 3x minus 7. Now, anytime we're factoring, we should be able to take our answer and multiply it back together, and we should get what we started with. So that's how we're going to check to see if this is uh, the correct factorization of our trinomial. So I'm just going to rewrite it over here, and we're going to check it over to the side. And like I said, we just multiply it back together. So to multiply two binomials, we're going to FOIL. Multiply the first two, that gives me 3x squared. Multiply that outer two, that would be a negative 7x. The inner two would be a positive 3x. And then the last two would give me a negative 7. I combine my two like terms, and that gives me 3x squared minus 4x minus 7, and that was what I had started with at the beginning, so I know that this is the correct factorization of that trinomial. Alright, let's do another one. So we have 7x squared plus 5x minus 2, and it's a difficult trinomial, so I'm going to use the slide and divide method. I'm going to take that leading coefficient and slide it to the back and multiply it times the constant. So that gives me x squared plus 5x minus 14. Okay, so I'm going to factor that into two binomials, x and x. So this second sign tells me that my signs are different in my binomials, one positive and one negative. And then the factors of 14 are 1 and 14, and 2 and 7. 
Okay, so I need the factors that will subtract to give me five, and that would be two and seven. And this time, my biggest number is going to be positive. So the seven is positive, and the two is negative. So now we have to divide by what we multiplied by in the beginning, divide both terms by seven, and that gives me x plus one. And then again, since two over seven won't reduce and it won't um, simplify into a whole number, we're gonna take that denominator and slide it back in front of the x, and I get seven x minus two. Again, if we check to make sure that we factored correctly by multiplying back together, I get 7x squared minus 2x plus 7x minus 2. And when I combine my like terms, I have 7x squared plus 5x minus 2, which is what I started with. So this is my correct factorization. All right, I have one more that I want to work out for you or with you. Okay, so if I take my leading coefficient and I multiply it, slide it to the back, multiply it times the constant, I get x squared plus 11x plus 24. Okay, so let's factor that into two binomials x and x. This time, the second sign is a positive, so I know that my signs and my two binomials are going to be the same, but I don't know what they are until I look at the first sign. That first sign tells me what they are. So this tells me they're the same. If this were a negative, they would both be negative. Since it's a positive, that means they're both positive. All right, so then the factors of 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. Okay, so I need the factors that will add to give me 11. That would be 3 and 8. Since both signs are, are the same, it doesn't matter where I put the 3 or the 8. Okay, so again, we're going to divide by what we multiplied by in the beginning. That's 12. And this is divided by 12. Okay, so it's very important now that we reduce our fractions. Um, we know that this won't be, become a whole number, but I don't move the 12 in front of the x yet. I have to reduce the fraction first, otherwise it's not going to be correctly factored. So to reduce our fractions, we get, this would reduce to 1 over 4. And then this would reduce to 1 over 3. Okay, now that my, fa my factors are reduced, I can slide those denominators back in front of um, the x's. So this would give me 4x plus 1. And this would give me 3x plus 1. Okay, so let's check it to make sure that it's correct. So if I have 4x plus 1 times 3x plus 1, if I multiply these back together, that gives me 12x squared plus 4x plus 3x. Oh, I made a mistake. This is why we check our answers. Okay, this is not going to work. Here, when I reduced my 8 over 12, that does not reduce to 1 third. That reduces to 2 thirds. Okay, so this should be a 2 here.
Okay, so that should be 12x squared. Then that's plus 8x plus 3x plus 2. Okay, that's going to work. So we get 12x squared plus 11x plus 2, and that's what we started with. Um, if we had not reduced here, if we had not reduced our fractions, say, for example, um, if, if we had just written 12x plus 3 and 12x plus 8, if I tried to FOIL those, you can see right off the bat, 12x times 12x, that would be 144x squared. That's not going to be my trinomial that I started with. So, like I said, it's very important to reduce your fractions first and then um, move your denominators in front of your x's. So, this would be the correct factorization of that difficult trinomial. And that's how we use the slide and divide method.